how do you use smooth iCam in DaVinci Resolve? I just created a new project inside DaVinci Resolve and I need to go in the media tab, which is the first one. In here, you want to right click and select import media. You can also use a shortcut key Ctrl plus I. After selecting your media, you can import it inside DaVinci Resolve and adjust the frame rate. In order to make our work easier, we are going to highlight one of the clips, go to the inspector on the right side and we are gonna change the name. We are gonna type camera number one. Also, we're gonna highlight the second one and rename it to camera number two. This is going to make our work easier in the future. Next, you wanna highlight it, as many clips as you're having there, and then right click, and then you can select the second option, which is create new multi-cam clip. After that, a new window will appear. The top option is asking us where the multi-clip is going to start. By default, it's on the beginning and I'm gonna leave it as it is. The second one is asking us for the name for that multi-clip, so I'm gonna keep it simple and name it multi-clip. The third option is our frame rate, I'm gonna keep it on 30 since my both of clips are frame 30. And fourth option is angle sync. By selecting the drop down menu you can see there's a few options for angle sync and the best way to synchronize them is by using a sound and this is when both of your clips are having a sound. You can synchronize them by the waveforms or you can use markers, timecode or in and out points. I'm gonna select in and out points and next up is the angle name. By default it should be on sequential. But if you drop down the menu, you can see there's a few more options. By clip name, file name, metadata, angle and camera. In here, you want to select the file name or clip name. I am selecting a clip name. This is why I renamed my clips. And then the rest, you can leave it as it is on default settings. And then you want to click on create. Now we have successfully set it up our multicam clip, which is right here. And also we have a folder with our original footages. When I open it, you can see that they're inside. Next up, you want to go to the edit page from here. And in here, you can also see there's a media tab on the top left. If you don't see it, you can click on the media pool. And in here, you're also having the multicam also with the original clips. You can grab the multicam and you can leave it on the timeline. On the right side viewer, you can see that the source file, which is the viewers. And on the left side, you should see your multicam. If you don't have two viewers like I do, you can click on here on the top right and you can switch between source viewer and multicam and source viewer. So I'm selecting it and I'm having two viewers right now. The one on the right is the end result and on the left viewer is what the multicam is. By default, you should not see anything on the multicam and this is because of this window right here. You can select the drop down menu and select the source from multicam. So you can go to multicam and select it. Now you should be able to see your, so this is camera number one and camera number two. You can even put there 25 different cameras. So now you can see that camera number one is highlighted. That means what is highlighted is gonna be visible on the source viewer on the right side, which is the end result. So now let's make a test and we're gonna place our playhead preview in the beginning. I'm gonna play it through and I'm gonna click on the cameras while the video is playing. And every time I click on one of the screens, it's gonna cut in the timeline and it's gonna switch between the multi cams. Now I'm gonna preview the clip so you can see that every time I was clicking on one of the screens, it was actually switching the camera. So now it's camera number two and now it's gonna switch back to camera number one and now back to camera two again. Of course you can use four, five, ten cameras, it doesn't matter, the principle is the same. There's also another way that you can do it, you can press one on the keyboard or two on the keyboard and that will determine what camera is going to be visible. So instead of clicking on the screen, you can press one or two on the keyboard to switch the cameras while the video is simultaneously playing. As you can see, as I go through the video, it is switching the cameras, just as I said. And if you made a mistake, let's say here, I shouldn't use camera number one here. I should have used camera number two. You can right click, select switch multi-cam angle. And I can see that number one is selected. You can select camera number two there and it's going to be switched to camera number two. And also if you want to switch from camera number two to camera number one, if you make that mistake, you can select the other one. A very important thing I want to mention is that this one right here, as you can see, it is highlighted both the video and the audio. That means whatever I'm making a cut, I'm cutting also the audio file. In my case, I'm not having any audio on this, but if you're having, it's going to cut the audio as well. And for each cut, it's going to use the audio from the video that is currently previewing. And if your audio is better quality on camera number one, and it's terrible audio quality on camera number two, you want to use just the audio from camera number one. But every time you're using camera number two, it's going to automatically use the audio from the camera number two. So you can right click on your audio waveform. I'm not having one, so I'm going to use the video. And then you can go back to the last option 
option and you can switch the audio from the camera number two to use the audio from the camera number one that way you're going to use the better audio file also you can click on here as you can see there's four by four and five by five three by three and this is basically the viewers on the left side to see all of the video multi clips that you have imported 4x4 four four means that there should be 4 rolls times 4 videos and 5x5 five five, there should be 5 rolls times 5 videos that means you can use up to 25 videos for multicam in DaVinci Resolve you can also watch this video right here I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it thanks for watching and see you in the next one